I gotta fix that. Hello YouTube, it's Axel, and today is Small Channel Where to Stay Part 2. No, Part 3. Uh, it's when I um checked out my stuff this morning. I gotta turn off this noise. Um, I have 200 subscribers. When just yesterday when I made the Small Channel Awareness video, I was up to 209. I'm back down to 200. So you guys can see what's happening here. I can see what's happening. But do we understand it? No. We could never understand why they don't want us to do that. Honestly, I think the biggest reason YouTube is striking channels down subscribers is exactly what I told you yesterday. As I've looked into this too many times lately, I watched that one video and then when this happened, I knew that that's what was going on. So they're trying to stop us from growing. And I said this before, I'll say it again, I'll say it as many times as I need to to get it to register in people's minds. YouTube doesn't like our small channels growing so fast. They only want their big YouTubers. They don't want to, they want to cut costs. They don't want to be, I don't know how to put it. They don't want to have to pay more than just one person. One or two or a few people. They want to pay the famous ones, the ones that get promotions. But how did those guys get their start? Hmm? How did they become the favorites of YouTube? I'll tell you how. Doing exactly what I'm doing. Making videos and trying to get subscribers. Today is another channel. Small channel awareness day. We can name this whatever you want to name it. I don't really care. But this has got to stop. We need to get more people on board with stopping YouTube's policy here. We have a right to freedom of speech here in America. And I believe YouTube is an American uh, app and program but it's worldwide now so I gotta ask you guys to voice to YouTube whether it's in my chat or another person who's doing a video like this or their chat someone's chat voice your anger with YouTube how they're always trying to stop us from growing I want you to go down those comments below of mine or whoever and make sure that YouTube knows that this is bullshit that you're going to keep fighting them. You'll keep making videos. You'll keep watching them. You'll keep subscribing. And no matter how many times they strike you, you're just going to bounce back. So what I'm asking you to do is to stand with me here and not back down. They want us to give up. But we're not doing that. We won't do that. I don't care if I win or lose billions, hundreds of matches on Clash Royale. Every time I see something going on with YouTube, I'm going to make a small channel awareness video. This is my promise, and a promise meant is a promise kept. I want you all to remember. I want you to remember what they're doing, how they're treating us. We do nothing to them but make the videos and put them up there. And what do they do? They strike us. Subscribers. Or whatever. I once had a song playing on my phone in the background of my game. A song that I had legally downloaded. That I was legally allowed to use. And I got a copyright strike from it. That strike since been gone away. But my point is. They stole my 8 hour stream. They struck it down. Now I think that it's more than just that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so let's not get that in our heads. I'm not. I'm just saying it how I see it. And what I'm seeing is bullshit. Plain and simple. We are doing our very best to make the best videos we can for our subscribers. So they'll keep watching them. 
But YouTube doesn't want to hire us because we're so small. They're worried we'll quit. Well, that's where you and I need to go down that chat and say, we ain't quitting. We're not going to stop. You can strike us as much as you want. We're still not going to stop. It's over. You're, you're not going to win this fight. You could strike us however many times you want. You can strike our videos. But then if they strike our videos, that means that we're right. Do they really want us to know their hit, their, what's going on? No. I can understand, like I said before, mo minimizing monetary uh, loss. What I can't understand is why you would do this to little channels. What about these big YouTubers? They put a song in the background that's not theirs. They don't get struck. Yet, I don't even put the song on the video. I'm just playing it on my phone because I listen to music when I play games. And what do they do? Copyright strike. I made no claims to that song. I legally downloaded it. I was legally allowed to listen to it and use it however I saw fit. As long as I wasn't trying to sell it. That's not copyright. So why the hell are they striking me for a song that was just in the background? It wasn't actually on the video itself. I didn't put it in there. It was playing on my phone. And my microphone happened to pick it up. I can understand that things are tough for people these days. I can also understand that they're threatening us with a government shutdown. But it doesn't matter. I'm not here to support the government. I'm not here to support politics. I'm not here to promote politics. I'm not here to tell you who I voted for, who I didn't vote for, and who you should vote for. I'm here to make videos for you guys. For all of you out there, my subscribers, I am committed to bringing you guys the best videos I can. And evidently that's too good because I got knocked down to 200 subscribers. Which in another way proves that what I'm saying is correct. I was at 214 yesterday and I got dropped to 198. I built back up to 209, then today I find myself at 200. If I do the math here, it will take me 10 days to get 1,000 subscribers. That's if I get 100 subscribers every single day. And that means it'll take over a week. But let's count what, let's knock off what I've already got. 200 subscribers. So it will take me 8 days to get 1,000 subscribers if I get 100 subscribers every day. Which is the limit. I'm only allowed 100 subscribers a day and 1,000 a week, right? So why are they striking me when I haven't even reached 100? Why are they taking subscriptions off of me in two days? When in just one day, I, didn't even, I, I came close to 100, but I never reached 100. Why don't you tell me? You tell me why they're doing that. Is there any other reason? Is there any way we could really not understand what's going on here? I think I'll just leave it to your imagination. Okay, I'm going to leave it to your imagination. Alright? I'm just going to leave it to your guys' imagination. Let's take this video to 15 minutes, I think. I gained, I think, 40 subscribers in two days. And I'm only allowed 100 a day. I haven't done anything copyright-wise. So... Why are they striking me subscribers? Do 
I think you get the point. Change of plans. But, what well, do you just think on that, guys? And I'll catch you later. Peace.